Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber C today. Today's topic is don't cry over someone who doesn't see your tears. We've all been there, or at least most of us have been there at one stage in our life where we ended up in a relationship that was very lopsided, where we had more feelings for them, or it was mutual at first and then something changed. And then all of a sudden now we're crying all the time about something that's going on or not going on in our relationship. So as we evolve within our partnerships and our lives, we all change. We change all the time. And what happens if we don't grow together as a couple, we will end up feeling very alone in our relationships. We start to settle for being in this relationship. We figure, well, we've made our bed, I guess we've got to lie in it. You never have to be anywhere you don't want to be. And if you're in a place where you are constantly feeling alone when you're in a relationship with somebody, you've got to ask yourself, what is the purpose of continuing this situation? Now, I know a lot of the times it's a financial reason we know we want to leave, but we've got this financial thing stuck inside of us because who's got the money to live in two places, especially if there's kids? But you still owe it to yourself to come to some kind of compromise on how you can remove yourself from feeling this way. If you're constantly emotionally drained by the circumstance of your surroundings, how is that going to work long term for you? it's going to start taking over every part of you. Because when you're unhappy in your love life and your personal relationships, that's a big percentage of who you are. And it gets you mad too, because you're sitting there holding on to this stuff and you're not getting into a better place. So now you're starting to get mad at yourself. You're feeling guilty that you're not able to change this scenario. Don't spend the next 10 years of your life Oh, I wish I'd done this. What only, only if I'd done this? Do it now. Find somebody to help you with it. There's lots of support groups out there. There's lots of groups that you can just go and attend meetings. You don't even have to talk. Just listen. See what other people are doing in situations like this. How are they resolving this? How are they getting past this sad place that they've got into their life? Why is their partner not responding anymore? What did they do? Did they try and fix it? Did, did they see a counselor? How did this come about for them to either move on past it, their relationship, or to fix it? Maybe you could find somebody that could help share the expenses of living arrangement or something just to get you over the first hurdles of, of move, removing yourself from this partnership. When you're constantly struggling with, you know, why your partner isn't there for you or if they don't love you anymore, you're being constantly reminded of this negative existence of what's going on. If you slowly start to remove yourself from it and put yourself into better situations, you will eventually be able to bring yourself out of this sort of sad state of mind that you've got yourself into. And again, you're in charge. You're totally in charge of how your life turns out. So read books, get out there to mingle groups, watch videos on YouTube. There's lots of free resources out there. Even if you are financially strapped and can't make a move right now, find a solution by just putting yourself out there as much as you can to change up your living arrangement at home. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. If you've had anything happen like this to you, please leave your comments below to help others because that's why we do these shows. There's a lot of people that are dealing with sad situations and they're just feeling lost and they don't know where to go. So I always appreciate you taking the time to leave your opinions and, and situations underneath the video here. Thanks so much everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.